Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Gennady Triple G Golovkin feels the Canelo fight, the rematch, is a must win, can't lose scenario. He can't lose this fight, he must win it. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, the channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work in September 15th, Las Vegas, Nevada. It goes down again, yet again, at the T-Mobile Arena. Canelo versus Gennady Golovkin. And no, guys, part two, part duh, the rematch, whatever you want to call it. Now, it was a long road to get to the rematch. Canelo failed drug test. He ate the meat, tainted meat. Then he got suspended. Then it looked like Canelo and Triple G couldn't agree on the purse split. Triple G said he wanted 50-50 for all of his pain and suffering. And then they said, we're not doing that. Train is left and yada, yada, yada. Now the fight is agreed upon. De La Hoya came up with the uh, plan, an ingenious plan, I guess, to offer up some of his own money. That's what they're saying on record to get this fight done without either fighter compromising and budging on, on the purse splits. So now we have a fight. Golovkin said this, and I quote, I can't lose this fight. It's a very interesting fight for me because I feel his energy. I feel the champ's energy. I'm just going to change my performance. I know what I need the second fight. Now we have a different situation, completely different. I have more experience now. That's coming for Golovkin. He says he has to win this fight. He can't lose this particular fight, right? I believe it'll be like a real street fight he continues right triple g's trainer abel sanchez he also spoke with espn regarding this fight he says canelo he's got exceptional skills we knew that before but i didn't anticipate him moving as much as he did he talked about a knockout as he's doing now hopefully he lives up to his words and comes to fight and that way the fans can be treated to a great fight right end quote so that's from team golovkin Golovkin says this is not the fight he wants to lose. I agree with him. There's a lot of implications between the drug test. Now Canelo's on VADA year-round drug testing, so we can't use that unless he fails another drug test, which if that's the case, I'm assuming the fight would uh, get canceled yet again. So if Canelo passes all his drug tests, it's been months since whenever the infraction in February. So you can't really use that. I mean, I know certain drugs stay in your system, but... I mean, how much of an edge would you have months after with all passing tests, if that is the case? You know, we have to wait and see. But um, so I think it'll be a good fight. Both guys have been trash talking. There's been some back and forth banter. Should be a good fight. A lot of implications. Triple G got stripped of one of his titles for failure to defend against his mandatory Sergey Dervinchenko. And he's not looking to lose any other belts. He wants to prove the first fight wasn't a draw. Hopefully try to do that by hurting Canelo, knocking him out, or clearly winning. And Canelo says he's going to clean up his act and try to make the adjustments too. So I'm looking forward to it. As far as Abel Sanchez, I think Abel keeps putting this notion out there that Canelo should just bang with Golovkin. I think that's the worst thing that Canelo could do, just to come out and um, come out with a chip on his shoulder. That's what Tim Bradley did versus Ruslan Provotnikov. And... You see how far that got him in those early rounds. And then once he got back to using his superior athleticism, speed, intelligence, ring IQ, boxing ability, out of necessity because he was badly hurt and concussed versus Ruslan Provodnikov, we we seen a good fight and we seen Tim Bradley pull out, etch out a victory. So I think Abel is trying to play mind games like test the machista of, of Canelo and Oh, you, you entered the ring as a Mexican. You left as a runner, as Floyd. Oh, he, he said he's going to knock us out. But to, to knock us out, you have to take the risk and fight like a man. You know what I mean? Rush hour. But that's the oldest trick in the book. Nobody's out here trying to give anybody anything. You got to earn it. So I think Canelo's going to come out and fight. I think Canelo, he's been fighting since he's 15 as a pro. And probably before that, before he turned pro. So I think he's smart enough to realize he has to fight with intensity but also fight with meaning and purpose and a strategy a game plan not just come out here i think there's things he could do to adjust i think using his legs was a good addition but 
he should have planted his feet. He didn't have to move so much, right? You know, he could have planted his feet and tried to drive Golovkin back because he does have the upper body defense and good head movement and upper body movement where he was evading a lot of shots. So he just has to balance his game plan from the first three rounds and then sprinkled out the win the rounds he won later in the fight and just do that throughout the fight instead of like kind of burning out fatiguing having Golovkin keep putting the pressure on you because Golovkin is durable he's tough and he has a very good jab so um that's just my thoughts it should be a good fight I I just think I see Abel Sanchez keep putting the notion out there that Canelo should push for a knockout but Again, Golovkin's strong. That wouldn't be a, a smart game plan. You see what happened to Vonis Matarosa. If you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him throughout the fight, not wait and build something and um, let your combinations rip, and then when he's tired and he's getting hurt to the body, then you go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, then it doesn't really benefit you. It has to be a strategy. It has to be meaning behind doing it, right? You don't just start opening up toe-to-toe, toe-to-toe. Like Vonis Matarosa fighting like he was Rambo, you hurt Golovkin in the first round, and then you want to just sit in there and trade. You're a guy coming up from 154 pounds, moving up to 160 when you haven't fought in two years. So that's a game plan where you're destined to lose. I don't know why his trainer, well, actually, I do know why, because I think he has the same trainer as Ronda Rousey. Head moment. You know what I mean? That's a bad game. Head moment. That's a bad game plan. Golovkin's stronger than you. He's more active than you. And you're going to just sit up there and, and basically do what Abel's telling Canelo to do. Sit there and trade and put on for the fans and stuff. And you've seen what happened to Vonis Matarosa. And that can be anybody if you don't fight smart. That's why you see the elite level guys, the guys with activity, guys who felt they had something to lose in terms of rankings and who had been fighting so they weren't starving for paychecks per se. You know what I mean? Danny Jacobs got good money versus Quillen. Then he fought Sergio Mora. I'm pretty sure he probably got decent paychecks in those two fights. So by the time he got a good paycheck and fought Golovkin, he fought like he had some sense. Not like, man, I got to get this paycheck. I haven't fought in two years. Like Vonis Matarosin. You know what I mean? Because I'm sure that's hard because this is your livelihood. So you see the guys like Daniel Jacobs have a strategy. Guys like Canelo have a strategy. And fighting Golovkin... It makes sense. It's cool that you went to war with Golovkin for two rounds, but at the end of the day, what's it all mean if, if he knocks you smooth out? You know what I mean? And you can't continue. I'd rather be the guy who arguably beat Golovkin and or fans felt I beat him as opposed to the guy who got knocked out early because I fought a stupid fight. Let me know what you guys think. Triple G says he can't lose this one. Let me know if you think he will lose or if he'll win. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.